first off, I just want you to know that I'm still amazed that someone as fantastic and wonderful as you wants to marry me. That's because I love you more than life, Kate. I love you. Then why do I feel I'm about to get binned? No, it's not that. Then what is it? Um, I think we should postpone the wedding. I still want to marry you one day. It's just at this moment in my life, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready. Since when? Since when what? Since when did you stop being ready? Was it a week ago? Was it a month ago? Or was it ten minutes ago outside that factory? You can't think... You're telling me that Sophie has got nothing to do with this? Nothing whatsoever. Really? Kaz, I can't be around you right now. No, please. Don't go. I'm sorry. You're not as sorry as Sophie's going to be when I catch up with her. Your ideal Hindu would include a hot air balloon, hopscotch Olympics, Neil Diamond, oh, in person preferably, <laughs> cherry brandy cocktails, and a white chocolate bounty. And two male strippers. Oh, two? Well, rippling torsos are an option, but firemen or policemen uniforms are a big no-no. I mean, being covered in whipped cream by a member of the emergency services is just, it's just inappropriate. <laughs> All that thought. You sure I'm not keeping you from anything? Yeah, sure. My mum mentioned some important meal that you had tonight. Well, what's more important than us being able to have a little chat? Mm. Right, listen, I just want your opinion. What, tomato, tomato? Yeah. So go on, then, you're on about cake. Well, yeah, I just feel like she's having second thoughts about this wedding. What, she said that? So many words. How does that make you feel? I don't know. Weird, I suppose. What, because you think it might have something to do with you? Partly, yeah. What do you think, or you hope? What type of question is that? Well, you did basically admit to fancy her last time, didn't you? Yes, thanks, Tim. Why are you bellow it a bit louder? Because I don't think Emily and Peru heard you there. Anyway, she's engaged. Which is why you need to take a step back and see how things pan out. What? So do nothing? Yeah. Always the best policy in my book. That said, you might have an overactive imagination. Good evening. Oh, this is a surprise. A nice one, I hope. Chris, that's lovely. Oh, thank you. Right, what's your poison? Oh, a, a Dubonnet, if it's not too much trouble. No trouble at all. Mm. A Dubonnet for my new friend... Uh, Mary. Mary. My new friend, Mary. And what the heck? I'll have one myself. What can I say? I'm one of life's risk-takers. Oh, me too. If only there were more people like us. <laughs> hey, that was Kate. Apparently tonight's off. Come again. Uh, sorry, what was that about tonight? Kate, she just cancelled the Hindu. No reason, nothing. Who does Kaz know? Well, you seem so. Well, back to the imagination, eh? Kaz, I've got home. Please, we have to talk this through. The door was open. I've heard you've cancelled your hand party. How's Kaz taken it? <laughs> Sorry, that was a really stupid question. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. I've ruined everything, Sophie. <laughs> Come here. 